What's up, world? Welcome back to Radical Investors, where we talk about stocks, crypto, NFTs, and all the ways how to get to the money. I'm Wasu. I'm Hamed. And today we're talking about Ginkgo Bioworks, ticker symbol DNA, and the vultures that are out to kill our favorite company. Let's go! Guys, we're back again with another banger of a video. This time we had to rush to make this video because it's absolutely crazy the fear and the doubt that people are putting on one of our favorite companies, yeah. Ginkgo Bioworks, one of the companies that we feel is a, a revolutionary company, yeah. uh, similar to buying Amazon back in like, I don't know, the early 2000s or something like that. So for you guys that have not seen our video on Ginkgo Bioworks, ticker symbol DNA, DNA. and what it does um, quickly, D uh, Ginkgo Bioworks is essentially the AWS of synthetic biology. And what right. we'll do is we'll insert a little clip here of the CEO talking about, in, a, in, in a short detail, what Ginkgo Bioworks actually does. Ginkgo's business works is we're like yeah. cell programmers for hire. Got okay, it. right. So I'm sitting in front of like a 200,000 square foot compiler and debugger for genetic code here in Boston. It's like robotic automation doing what I did back in grad school. And then we use that machine to basically program a cell to meet a customer spec. And then we give it to them and we make money like kind of like Apple would make money in the app store, right? Like we, we get like a royalty or equity in their company or some reach in. All right. So the huge news today was a short selling activist firm called Scorpion Capital came out with uh, a quote unquote bombshell report um, calling uh, Ginkgo Bioworks basically a fraud company. Yeah, so uh, they sent this uh, company by the name of Scorpion Capital, they sent a tweet uh, storm um, this morning. Uh, not hey, hold just on. So, uh, for, for you guys that don't know, um, activist short sellers are companies that take a short position, which means they bet uh, against, against the company, company, and then they come out with a big PR stunt. Right. right. So that's what they do. So they're professional haters. For yeah, those that's guys well out said. There. Professional haters. So these guys uh, decided to come out with some information. So first off, they not only called it uh, Ginkgo Bioworks a scam, they called it a colossus scam. Um, I find it interesting the the terms they they used on this tweet. This and they use. Let's notice the language. Okay, Ginkgo Bioworks is a colossus scam, a Frankenstein mashup of the worst fraud of the last 20 years. So they are basically saying worse than a Bernie Madoff, bro, right? right? Worse than Thanos, right. who had some complete, you know, didn't worse even have any. Worse than Ozzy, we just seen him. Right. Come be trash, um, yeah. They also uh, equated Ginkgo Bioworks to the US version of the China hustle. Mm, China hustle. What does that even what mean? What does that even mean? Right? I mean, what does that even mean? Yeah, getting into their, their, that, that was their headline. Then you go in their Twitter thread, right? And you actually read kind of, you know, it's a long thread that, that kind of rambles on that talks about nothing really. They basically just call, call Ginkgo Bioworks a fraud um, that doesn't really have the, the revenue that, that they say. But most of their arguments, most of their points, um, comes back to um, their second tweet in the in the thread, right? Mm -hmm. It says Ginkgo's business model is based on a dubious shell game. Mm -hmm. Most of the of the of its foundries revenue, an absurd amount, seventy two percent in twenty twenty, and a hundred percent of its deferred revenue are derived from related party customers' investments into these entities by Ginkgo and its investors and a round trip to back and a round trip to back. So basically what that means um, is that their friends, they're, they're accusing Ginkgo of, of only having customers that are their homies, of that are their friends, right? right? And they're saying that the, the, the investments or the revenue that their friends are investing in those companies are ultimately coming right back to around to, to to the companies that make the actual investments from our understanding but to to us if you understand how startups work right right a lot of times if you're in a yc program or if you're in a tech stars program these are incubators right um what you'll do is you'll you'll reach out to your friends you'll reach out to other startups first right right and a lot of times you might share the same investors you might share um 
previous staff members or whatever the case, but that's what you do to build out your, your first user base, right? right? And that's basically the case of what Ginkgo did um, from, our, from our understanding. And the great, the great thing about this is Ginkgo wasn't hiding anything. Nothing was hidden. Right? No. They're, they're not hiding anything. They build in public on their the SEC filings. We'll put it up. Producer put it up for us. Um, they said right there as clear as day they said our revenue is concentrated in a limited number of customers which some of which are are related parties and our revenue results of operations cash flows and reputation in the marketplace may suffer upon the loss of significant customer. Oh, they're telling they, you. They're telling you right, right there. They're telling you they got a handful of customers that are super important to their business. Right. And you know why? Because they're building out the space. It's, yeah. it's not a, a, a SaaS company. They're right. not selling cars. They're yeah. not building out the next um, Amazon where they're, uh, they're shipping out books and shipping out products to you. They're building a synthetic biology company with a brand new business model absolutely all right yeah. with a business model that's foreign to wall street of course these boys are gonna hate yeah. that's what they do bro are you kidding me yeah it, it's it's a big joke and you know kudos to ginkgo because the filing for a spac is limited right it, it's not like a normal ipo it's less uh dense it doesn't require um all of the information but ginkgo went out and they documented everything. They documented all of this, all in plain sight for investors to see. Nothing to hide, right? And here you have this, the, these guys, these vultures over here, uh, looking to catch a score on us, basically. Preying on the early companies. And what, what really irritates us as um, kind of champions of the retail investor, we have clamored and we've, we've yelled at the top of our lungs to have the ability for working class folks like like you like work, a lot of our uh, people that watch this channel are working class yeah. folks to have those people to have the opportunity to invest in these companies right. early right we yeah. asked so many times to have the the chance to, to invest get that in these early companies access early before, right right and this is what it looks like to invest in a startup right, right. we could wait geeko could have waited until they're a hundred billion um, yeah. plus valuation company they had all the the kinks ironed out right they could have done that in the private side and then just went public and p investors like you and me wouldn't have had the opportunity to go along with the ride but they did it that's what SPACs allows yeah. for for retail investors to to invest early in these companies in the life cycle yeah and and that's why we promote them here because they have that you know it if you could invest early in a company's life cycle you are going to get the major benefits of that and that is kind of what happens to SPACs a lot of times a lot of these SPACs they're they're only stating like forward revenue that might be a couple years in the future because they're early in their life cycle the name the and you know again when when i see these hit pieces and the language that they use they're really trying to write it, it felt like they were trying to uh almost get you on the feeling side, right? Somehow trigger something very for emotional. you, right? It was very emotional. And this is a financial firm and they're speaking so emotionally. They didn't, I didn't really hear any financial language and it was almost like they were trying to speak to a, 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 a like a average person, right? And, and try to, and, and try to get them to sell their coins, right? Sell, sell right. their stocks. They said they spoke to two former employees and the f firm, former employees said the company was a fraud. They didn't mention who. They could have talked to the janitor, yeah. right? The know. janitor, Maybe. they could have uh, uh, talked uh, to the- talk to the employee, we don't know. Like, yeah, right? or, or the, the secretary or anybody. And all they said, the quote was, the company is a fraud. What are you even talking about? When you make this type of accusation, you have to come with stone cold facts. Right. Right, stone cold facts. Not we talked to the homie. He said that the the company was yeah, a fraud. It's, it's a Garbage. joke, and and then somehow just the the public is supposed to just believe you just because you put out some piece. Like no, we gonna we gonna do our research and we are gonna validate this. And look, quite frankly, we all know, guys, this is how Wall Street works, right? Very manipulative. Very. I wouldn't be surprised that these guys are actually trying to get into Ginkgo at a lower price point. Yeah, and I, that's what I think. One thousand percent. And to that point, today 
some of the smartest investors in the space, right. Kathy, Kathy Woods, Woods and others. You know? They're excuse me. They were doubling down on their investment. Continue to buy uh, right. a, a, a ginkgo and ticker symbol DNA because they understand. Um, that this company is a fundamentally transformational company at its end. Guys, so if you're enjoying the type of content we're making here at Radical Investors, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and join our family. Yeah, and also guys, we've got links down below where you can sign up to purchase stock and crypto. Take advantage of those sites. You get free incentives when you do so. And like always, happy hunting. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Peace.